Welcome to Powered by Snowflake, a series where I interview technology leaders building applications and businesses on Snowflake. I'm your host, Daniel Myers, and today I'm talking with Graham Sheldon, Chief Product Officer at UiPath. UiPath is an AI-powered business automation platform powered by Snowflake. Graham, how are you today? I'm doing great. It's great to be here. Thanks. I am really excited to have you in the studio today and learn all about UiPath and how you built out this platform on Snowflake. In your own words, tell me what exactly does UiPath do? So at UiPath, we're all about trying to help accelerate human achievement. And we do that by thinking that all knowledge work really could be automated and helped out. And so the business automation platform is really out there to help you understand what's going on in your business, help you automate the things that should be automated, and then operate it really at scale to help you achieve business outcomes for your end-to-end -end business processes. We have the best-in-class RPA. That's what people know us for in the past, but we've sort of brought that together with a suite of capabilities that, again, help you understand, automate, and operate at scale. That is a pretty difficult and challenging area to be in, to take you know these physical processes and getting the data from them, and then not only that, but making sense of that data to to improve those processes. So tell me more about the history of the company and how did you get involved? Yeah, absolutely. So the company got started, I think, seven or eight years ago in Romania. So our founder, Daniel Dines, uh, who is actually formerly at Microsoft, had a similar path that I did. So he came to realize that it was a really interesting opportunity in the marketplace and things that could be done with technology. And he grew the company from, from nothing, from just a couple people in Bucharest to the global company that it is now. How I got involved? So about five years ago, I was the chief product guy for Microsoft Teams, actually. And I started to meet with a lot of these big customers who also happened to use UiPath. And I kept hearing about it. They're like, well, they're into AI, which is another thing that I have a long background in, having launched Bing with Satya. I was really excited about the combination of AI and the understanding it can bring, and then automation and what you can actually do with it to like accelerate human achievement, which is the vision that UiPath has. And so I got excited, and December of last year, I made the plunge and joined the, the, the rocket ship. Fantastic. So tell me more about the scale of UiPath today, both you know, some notable customers that you have and like the scale of the business, but also the scale of the product. You know, how much data are you are you crunching and how much how many of these processes are you are, are you leveraging? Yeah, you bet. So we have over 10,000 uh, customers today. Two thirds of the global fortune 2000 use us on an active daily basis. And we have millions upon millions of robots working with and for people. Uh, to help them do their jobs better, to help discover what they're doing, to automate those processes, and then operate them at scale in a way that you know people feel like they can trust, uh, enterprises can trust. I'll give you an example. EY, a company that does a lot of global services for companies, they started with us um, about five years ago, 2018, and they are now running a global operation. Obviously, they are a global company. They run... 150,000 robots concurrently right now. And they're doing that. They saved $25 million over the course of that. And there's many different customers like that who have grown with UiPath to sort of democratize these tools amongst their team. Because obviously it wasn't one developer or a team of small developers. It's even citizen developers and business users who are actually making these things for themselves. You know, I, I love that story and how how you've been able to provide so much value to a company like EY. And so tell me more about how you've architected and built this platform on top of Snowflake. Right. So the key parts of the business automation platform, uh, we have a layer that does discovery. So we use Snowflake to basically ingest all of our data, all the event data that a customer has that describes that end-to-end -end process. So an example that I'll show you a little later is like an order to cash process where you're collecting hundreds of millions of, of records at a time and being able to produce even custom views, slicing and dicing in real time, being able to use 
Snowflake has been critical for us to be able to provide that in our process mining application in our discovery layer. In our automate layer, you know, for some of our insights, how we operate our service and make sure that it is our observability platform is running well, we actually use um, snow pipes in Snowflake for yeah. that. All of the layers, the last piece is the operate. We run our business both on premise and in the cloud. So we let people self host as well as we have a best in class automation cloud product. And we wouldn't have been able to go to the automation cloud for that operate layer if it weren't for Snowflake being one of those systems that can also scale with us, govern and provide our customers the same level of trust in the system and be flexible to meet their needs that are ongoing and need to change in real time. That makes total sense. So. From here, let's see a demo of this in action. You bet. So what I'm gonna show you here is the UiPath platform in action. What you're looking at is our best-in-class automation cloud. And this is sort of a one-stop shop for admins, for users, for developers to be able to see what their automations are doing, design them, and get insights from them. What we're looking at here is in order to cache process flow where we've ingested and used process mining, which is powered in part by Snowflake, to be able to go take hundreds of millions of rows and to be able to show someone in real time what's going on in their process. In this particular case, you're going from one end to another, but under the covers, you need to be able to slice and dice this stuff. You need to be able to visualize all of the different changes and find where those little bottlenecks are. If you're going to go automate something, you really need to know what is going on. How are people really doing this? And as you look at it, you can see that it's a lot more complicated than what folks might otherwise believe. We've talked to lots of different customers who have used this, and they're always shocked by how crazy complicated this stuff can be. All of these relationships are captured here in our process mining tool. And then we are going to move and show how you can basically look at how this thing is operating. So this is a list of all the places in that process where we've identified bottlenecks. And we're using heuristics and some deep calculations that only Snowflake can provide us to provide custom views and custom metrics into that. Let me switch a little bit to talk about integration service. So we've identified a place that needs to be automated where it could help. Well, in this case, we've integrated with Snowflake with an out-of-the-box connector to be able to go trigger an automation, right? So because our customers are both Snowflake customers and UiPath customers, they get a real benefit and can learn from the community on how best to create these processes. So then we've taken this particular connector and we've plugged it in with another automation that is integrated with SAP in this case to be able to do both UI automation and API automation and use that to sort of make one of these things come to life. Out of the box, we provide you templates for how to do this. And those templates make use of all of those connectors, both directly. And if you need to be able to create your own, you can do that as well. And then finally, we're gonna to switch to our insights application, which is also powered by Snowflake. Out of the box, what the customer gets to do is they see sort of the operational metrics. So if I'm running this process over time, I need to know if it's actually succeeding. I need to know how many times it ran, where it ran. And if it fell over, I need to know that too. Again, Snowflake is there to help you out. And finally, at the end, take a step way back and you, know, you go to your CTO, you go to your CIO and you say, hey, Am I really getting my bang for the buck out of this thing that we just did? Is Snowflake or UI Path really driving it home for it? And you can say, heck yeah. You know, we saved a whole bunch of time, we saved a whole bunch of money, and you've got your ROI right here, and you're back at it again. So you can continuously improve that thing back with process mining. This is a pretty insightful platform that that you've built here, and one that I love because it shows just how how detailed and fine grain you can get with these processes and how you need to be able to get the information and make sense of it all. And a platform like UiPath with Snowflake really helps to achieve that, that insight. Absolutely. So a question for you here is 
how did you land on building this on Snowflake? What was your decision process and 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 why did you choose Snowflake to build this on? Yeah, so the team uh, chose to bet on Snowflake at a time where we knew we wanted to be a cloud first company. It's not new that people are going to the cloud to do these things, but for data that's very sensitive, like what your employees are doing, you wanna be confident that if someone's gonna be cloud first, they're also able to govern that and manage it appropriately. Furthermore, you need to be flexible. You know, their needs are changing all the time. The state of technology is just moving at a pace that's unprecedented. And so having that flexibility and adaptability, super important. And then I guess, you know, the last thing is, is really just about scale. We know that the type of data that's being handled here, we support up to a billion rows. Wouldn't be able to do that without help from Snowflake to make that a reality. And so those key things were all things that, you know, we found unique about Snowflake and our customers have been really delighted with what they have been able to do. And so have we. That's fantastic. So over the next six to 12 months, what would you say your customers should get most excited about on your roadmap? Yeah. So if I take a look back and take a look forward in talking to, you know, tens of, uh, of customers over the last couple of months, what's become clear is that the state of automation is really changing. In the past, they were focused more on cost savings, right? So they come in and they have a point, you know, they look at a band-aid to a, a problem that they have. Pandemic created a lot of that. Good example, you probably know a company called Uber. They, may have, they had some challenges uh, in the regulatory environment, right? They were in the UK. They were trying to make sure that they met the stringent requirements that came down very quickly when they had those challenges, right? And they needed to be able to deploy a solution super quickly. And they were very successful in doing, they, they turned things around and they did that using the UiPath platform to make sure that like the errors, which are really important when you're validating your drivers are who they say they are, they were able to deploy UiPath in, in record time. In the past, a lot of the, those companies were looking at these sort of point solutions and they were tactical fixes. Right. Now, automation is becoming strategic. In the past, you know, they were looking at routine processes, things that were repetitive. Now, people are looking at the new and the novel use cases. In the past, you were looking at eliminating things that were boring, that people didn't want to do. And now, you're able to look at generative AI, what we were talking about a little bit uh, yeah. off camera uh, about, which is super fun and exciting. And people want to be able to create, be creative. They can use UiPath to do exactly that. And there's been lots of great examples where our customers are showing us that. And people who don't even have technical backgrounds. Give you one last story. Yeah. One of the, the, the sales guys who sits next to me was telling me about he was just on a call with an accountant uh, from sort of middle America, no technical background. And she was dealing with all of these incoming emails from customers. Hey, I need to be able to you know, route them to the right person. Hey, who's going to be able to answer this question or that question? Spent a lot of time doing that. You know, UiPath the rescue. She cracked open our document understanding and used uh, a model that we had built to, you know, take a look at the documents she was getting as attachments to those emails, be able to parse that and be extract out the right information, and then route it to the right place. Now she's doing the fun part of her job, delighting customers, making sure they stick around. So this transformation in the next, you know, two years at least is going to be where. We go from the tactical to the strategic, from the routine to the new and the novel. And that's really exciting. And obviously, AI is going to play a big role in that as we go forward. I could not agree more. And I mean, and and I love those stories about about Uber um, and, and others around how you've been able to really pinpoint these, like you said, moving it to the strategic area rather than ad hoc to be able to provide this sustained value back to your customers with this platform. So that's, that is really exciting to see. So Graham, where should people go to learn more about UiPath? Yeah, they can definitely come and visit our website, uipath.com. And I'd specifically recommend maybe taking a read at a white paper that 
Snowflake and UiPath co-authored on the role of the modern data platform for doing automation. Fantastic. And I want to say a big thank you for joining me in the studio today. It has really been fascinating learning all about UiPath and how you've built this platform powered by Snowflake. My pleasure. And to all of our viewers, if you want to learn more about how to build your next business or application on Snowflake, check out developers.snowflake.com. And if you want to see other interviews like this with technical leaders in the space, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Myers. This has been another episode of Powered by Snowflake. See you next time.